painting and painting the same spot all the time, the, what, the colors get dirty, it becomes muddy. So after a while, it doesn't look so nice. So if you look at her one, one stroke and then you leave it alone, it looks fresh and a bit transparent. <laughs> but once you do, keep going, going around, 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 then it looks like uh, very muddy, yeah? as if you just walk in the mud. So one color is looking it transparent. So I give an example. When I did this painting, I did it in uh, Chinese New time. Chinese New for the day, so uh, okay, time to paint. How long do you think I could paint this? Huh? Sorry? Half an hour. One hour? Okay. Four hours? Half an hour. Huh? Ten hours? Half an hour. Half a day? A day. One minute? Oh, can I invite you? Show us how to do it in one minute. <laughs> one week. Just a few brush from big brush. This, uh, this is called squirrel brush. This is one brush stroke across. Then change color. One brush stroke, two brush stroke. This one consists of three brush strokes. So it cannot be so long, right? It will be four hours, right? Okay. Ah. The sky is less than a minute. Okay. This one is about, maybe about, you know, uh, two minutes or so. This one center part took longer. Yeah, maybe it took me about 15, 20 minutes. Because the more detail. But that's all. Okay? You do not want to go and take pain, you know. And then pain. And put water, pain, pain. And then some more pain. Then after I look at it, it looks very muddy. Yeah. So no, I did as few strokes as possible. So less is more. Okay. But you cannot do this one every time. Okay? 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 So watercolor can be done very simply, quite easy, or it can be done in greater detail. The detail is in getting the pipe correct getting the shadows correct, getting all these poles so that it looks like the poles are there. Then painting my bird, okay? Okay, and then all the wire, and then the wood. So it took me, took me a bit longer, okay, to compose it. Okay? But rust is not all the same color, right? So I must change color. Okay, maybe I think this. This color is called burnt sienna. Uh, of course, I'm going to ask some of you to come and try it. So, pay attention. Pay attention. Okay, then you put some more uh, next to it, different color. Yeah. Okay. Okay. La. Then you start the first. What you need to do is to use a piece of paper which is rough. So this paper is rough. You touch it, it's rough. Okay? So to paint the piece of wood, you use the roughness of the paper. And then you use dry on dry. Okay? Remember, it's not we talk about dry on dry. So let me show you how to paint a piece of wood. And you do the same thing. Now it's a two different colors. Yeah? Okay? You can add more if you want. Not that. Okay. So after that, take a brush and just have water. Just have water. And you go over the water. Ah. Yeah, okay. So when you go over the paint, the paint will bleed into the water, just a little bit. Okay. Then it looks like a piece of old wood. Yeah. And after that, what you need to do is to take a bit of black color. Then uh, you define the edge, then you have a piece of wood. 
So you have to learn how to use watercolor techniques to paint wood. If you do this method, you paint two pieces of wood, they will look different. But it's fine. It looks quite natural. It don't look like you go and spend hours and hours painting. Okay. Okay, just now my painting was the grass is a bit dry, right? Water touch the paint, the paint starts to bleed out, right? Which is what happens when something gets rusty. It bleeds out. So, go over there. This is for 